Hi everyone, welcome back to Training Time. Today, I'm gonna share what you think is the most annoying thing about Star Stable. There are always going to be quirks about this game and things that people don't like, and that's okay. The game isn't perfect and it doesn't have to be, but hopefully some of these things will get fixed. I still really love this game and the Star Stable team works really hard on it. And some of the things that people submitted have nothing to do with how they're doing on the game. It's really just things that are out of their control, like the people, for example. It looks like I'm training Phyllis. I have four quarter horses to train. Should I call for pickup? I'll show you how they're doing so far. So Barbie and Dopey are doing pretty good. Red Velvet. I can't even remember their names. Oh, oh, it's Merida. Merida has not even gotten started yet. I guess since I'm already on Phyllis, I'll just train her. Here's Meaty. He was out because we were doing team chasing in Dino Valley. We needed a cold tolerant horse for team chasing. The first submission is from Alexis and she says other people. I agree especially with global. Global chat can be a mess sometimes. There's also some people on this game that make hurtful comments. It's not even just this game. It's everywhere. You have to deal with hateful people. The character's hands slash lag during races. I don't really experience lag during races that often, so that doesn't really resonate with me, but the hands thing Oh my gosh, the hands are so bad. I posted a picture and everyone just commented on the hands because they looked like spiders. The lag and also servers being full all the time. With the server situation, there are some servers that just never open for some reason and maybe it's because they want to unload noobs on specific servers so that they fill up. Right now, I'm on a super, super dead server. I think this is Snowflake something. <laughs> what really gets me is when the servers don't close. Like when they stay open, even though there's clearly too many people on that people are having login errors. You can't close your stall door. Oh yeah, that's actually annoying. There's some times when I'm doing a realistic roleplay or something and I'll want to close the door, but then it won't shut. The NPCs cannot do anything for themselves. They're like, oh, I do so much work, yet they just stand there. They're doing away with some pointless tasks, but then there's still some things where it's like, why am I doing this on a horse game? Having to ignore everyone in the arena when doing dressage, we need ignore all. This is one of my biggest, biggest requests, the ignore all feature, because it's not fun to go do dressage with your club, and then there's people who want to talk to you, but you have to ignore them, and it really offends them. It's offensive to go around ignoring people. I mean, even though you're gonna take them off after, they don't want to be ignored. So if you just had an ignore all thing or ignore everyone except for your club, it would just be so much easier. Your ignore list wouldn't get full. People would have no idea that your club's there because you'd have ignore all on. So it would just be so much better for everyone. I forgot to say my top three annoying things. That is one of them. The other thing is mirrored horses, which I've talked about so many times. I think everyone already knows I don't like the mirrored horses, which lately horses have not been mirrored. They've been doing a really good job about it. It was just an issue with the Jorvik Warmbloods where they have paint markings and, you know, Appaloosa markings, but yet they're mirrored someone has sparkles on it's so beautiful when sso brings a horse in the game but you don't have enough star coins i feel like that's a problem for a lot of people especially when there's horses that cost a lot of star coins i would just say only buy horses that you really like if you don't have a lot of star coins and try not to spend star coins on things that cost Jorvik shillings. Like, for example, if you can get a shirt with Jorvik shillings, I would not recommend spending star coins on it unless you really, really want to or something. Then you can save star coins for things that only take star coins. 
People who get mad when people put an English saddle on an AQH they paid for. This one grinds my gears. I have a quarter horse in real life. Well, she's an appendix, so this doesn't completely apply. She has never, ever been ridden Western in her entire life. And she is an appendix, so it's a little different. But even then, quarter horses can do anything. They can be English or Western. They're not just Western horses. And I know in the news it said, oh, they're the ultimate Western horse or something along those lines. But that's not completely true. They may be great for Western, but they can do anything. I posted multiple pictures of my quarter horses in English tack and people got on me about not wearing Western tack. And it's like, what if my horse does English? What if my horse doesn't do Western? Like, it doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. You didn't buy my horse, so you don't get to choose what kind of tack I put on this horse. Go put whatever kind of tack you want on your own horse. It really doesn't matter to me. And also along the same lines, there's people who are trying to ban dressage team riders or whatever the frick they're doing. There's these Western people who are telling dressage clubs or English people not to go in the Western arena. But here's the thing, no one owns the Western arena. Like, let's say someone riding Western or someone riding Spirit or doing freaking raining went into the riding arena. You can't tell them to leave. You can't just say, oh, sorry, this is an English arena. Like, no, that's not how it works. No one owns anything. Yeah, you can ignore them if you don't like that they're wearing English tack in the Western arena, but you can't tell them to leave. There were so many stories that I saw of people saying, hey, just have some common courtesy, keep the English out of the Western. Whose rules are these? Who's making up these rules? I think everyone just needs to calm down a little and let everyone do their own thing. Hashtag, 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 hashtag. A lot of hashtags. I feel like the chat filter has gotten better. Maybe not the chat warning system. When you do get a chat warning, it should show you on the screen exactly what you said so that you can learn from it and not say that next time. But when people get left in the dark about what's okay and what's not okay to say, how are you supposed to learn for next time? What if you say the same thing again and you don't know it's wrong because they never told you what happened? I know some people email support and ask them what they said and support will give them the answer, but that shouldn't be the way it is. You should just automatically get the answer. Saving the corrupted horse mission, it literally jumps off high cliffs and runs through deep water. I feel like that goes for a lot of the druid missions. How are you supposed to be expected to follow them through that mission? And then you end up failing the mission because you get stuck somewhere. Our character's fingers look like fries. I mean, you're not wrong at all. The Jorvik shillings limit. Imagine if you weren't allowed to have more than 10k bucks IRL. I completely agree. It is so annoying to reach max shillings, especially if you're doing something. Like, let's say you're in the middle of training. You're basically forced to spend them unless you want to waste them and keep earning nothing basically when really you just want to save them you can have unlimited star coins so why not your vic shillings i've never really understood why when the cow becomes invisible at the ranch i think you're talking about when you're doing the hurting the animals daily quest where you get the 300 xp for the past two days things have been fine but before that, for some reason, my animals were all invisible. I would go through all of the locations and there would be no animals, even though I checked everywhere, everywhere. Then when I did find the animals, they went up and over cliffs, running out of quests and seeing people higher level than you, like sad face. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. There are a lot of people stuck on lower levels, which isn't fair because then they have to do championships with people that are level 22. And if you didn't know, the higher level you are, the more 
uh, riding points you get, which is basically speed. There is definitely some kind of level gap that needs to be fixed. When they don't release the castle in Golden Hills, when they started the quest over at the Golden Castle, I thought it meant we would get the castle soon. We got a new area that was near the castle that's really beautiful, but I think a lot of people were hoping for the castle itself. The bridal in the neck. This is one of the most annoying things for me. Like right now, you can see the bridles in the neck. So sometimes it's really hard to take pictures. You have to basically edit the reins back in if they're in your horse's neck. Once again, that's another thing I just can say. I hope that gets fixed. The fact that we haven't gotten our main character updated yet. I think things are in the works with that. If the new characters get updated, what's going to happen with all of the clothes because if our characters got different body types or you know a new look things would not fit seeing you log on period well you won't even see me log on because i'm an, on a different server <laughs> yikes when you get disconnected in the middle of a really important club meeting and get kicked if there's weird rules like that, that you get kicked out if you disconnect, I think it's good that you're not in that club anymore. I would find a different club. Wrong leads. This one makes me crazy. Also, diagonals. You can't change your lead, so I'll be doing a realistic video and I'll have to awkwardly just be cantering on the wrong lead and just pretending it's the right lead. I wish we could have lead changes sometime in the future. That would be really cool. We're not doing this race. We're done. We're done training. This is it. We're getting out of here. No, <laughs> Phyllis is also done training. She's kind of done with all this nonsense. <gasps> oh my gosh, someone's with baby Lizzie. <laughs> Those are all the annoying things that I'm going to read. I hope you guys enjoyed this training time. Thanks for watching. Bye.